Yo guys, it's Chris here, and today's the beginning of a new series uh, that you guys are going to be very into, and it's going to involve you guys. So, it will be, how quickly can we lap the Nürburgring Nordschleife? And we will be doing this random cars, right? So you guys are going to be able to pick random cars like the Lemo. Today we'll be doing NASCAR. Uh, maybe we can do IndyCar, Formula One, or a Civic, or s something like that. You know, you can just... Pick, try to pick, you know, random, maybe funny things, I don't know. Uh, and I'm going to be keeping a timesheet. It's nothing, like, competitive or anything. Just comparing stuff, and uh, it'd be kind of fun to do. So, yeah. All right, now we are the only cars. Like I said, we are in our NASCAR here. A little bit of a rolling start. Let's see how this goes. Lap will be starting here in 3, 2, 1. And here we go. We are off in the NASCAR. A bunch of wheels spin already. This thing is not going to corner very well. We'll have to see how quick it is on the back straight. And we gotta have to be careful with the throttle. Uh, very careful, actually. Uh, I don't know, I think it's like 800 or close to 1,000 horsepower on the rear wheels. So it is not going to be very easy to control on, uh, you know, long corners and stuff. This part is hard enough just because how bad the steering this thing is. It's made to go in a trioval. It's not made to go on an orange life. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a straight here. Let's see how this goes here. We are at 128 miles an hour. Will it handle hills and bumps? Who knows? So we're breaking here back into third gear. This is a four uh, gear or four gears in this. That's how NASCARs cars are. Uh, more of a straight here. Car feels actually really nice uh, on like these little slight turns. Uh, the hills looks like it's handling it quite well. Remember these things have uh, not very much downforce. Uh, we're getting the shift into third gear there. A uh, bunch of braking. I had a slam on the brakes there. It would not break. So far, one minute and 25 seconds on the lap. I feel like we're at a decent pace for NASCAR. Once again, I'm going to try to avoid using the curbs. We have these little line things here, which tell us if it, it is a legal or not, which is nice. So we'll know. Uh, we're not going to like add time if I go over the track limits and I forget to turn there. That was definitely not easy to do. I pretty much slammed on the brakes and the car would not stop. Uh, so it does slow us down because we're in the grass there. Uh, all right, let's see how this is going to go. Long turn. Uh, the carousel is definitely going to be fun to do in the NASCAR. We're going to bring it all the way up to the outside. Hit the apex is surprisingly good through there. The braking is just terrible, like I said. Almost impossible to brake. Continuing on here. Avoiding as much curb as I can while still going quickly. I can't even use the curbs to like assist the braking there, and this is part it is not going to be fun. I am continually braking inside first gear. The fans, as you can see, are very happy. What a terrible line that was through there. Just trying to handle the traction as we head over to the rural areas of the track now. We're almost at the farthest northern part of the track. Currently, two minutes and fifty-five seconds. And losing traction as we are going up hills and turning. Something the NASCARs cars are not very good at. Uh, otherwise, our car is looking fine right now. Tires are up to temperature, which is good. So, uh, minimizing wheel spin is key at this point. It's definitely not easy to be precise with your gears around this track, since it is uh, obviously only four gears. Something the NASCARs cars are limited to but they are meant to get everything out of the gears, which is why we can hit 150 in third gear, as you can see. So still whipping around the track very quickly, no need to break there. In the grass a little bit, but it counted as a perfect turn. Definitely a great system Forza has here. Uh, still staying in keen here. We're getting to uh, really close to the hairpin carousel. Uh, I don't know all the names of these corners. I'm sorry about that. Uh, and you know, learn them as the series goes on, especially learning the track as well overall. So far, it's been fairly decent in the NASCAR. The 
cannot get very much corner speed at all, uh, which is really unfortunate, but we're going to be able to make up a lot of time on this trade. So here is our hairpin carousel. I'll just call it the carousel now. It's not that much of a hairpin. And surprisingly, it's stuck to the inside line. A lot of it has to do with the camber. So, you know, we can't really praise the NASCAR that much there. Still in third gear. We're going to try to take the racing line here without going into second gear. But we're going to have to go into second gear. Or else we would have went into the grass, which we do yet again there. Still going down here. As we get closer to the straight, I'm just waiting for that straight to come. That straight is just going to be amazing. We could hit upwards of 200 miles an hour. I'm not sure. I'm still getting not a lot of traction. But you can see the curve just upset the car so much. Just trying to stay on the track at this point. This section is not liking the NASCAR. Uh, this section is more for a smaller sports car than a NASCAR. Uh, as you can tell, we have no brake lights. Uh, just decals. That's NASCAR for you. Uh, which is great, you know, for... Uh, what are these? Uh, not ovals. <laughs> Let's call it that. Normal street tracks. And I can smell the straight coming. We have. To, uh, I did not break enough there, unfortunately. Getting wave blue flags going too slow. Sorry, we're not even hitting 100 miles an hour through this point of the track. Using a little bit of that curb on the outside, keeping it clean. Our lap is not clean, but that's because uh, of the way we started. That's just because we have first assist too. Still trying to stay on the track because the track is the quickest way to take this. Second gear is still kind of floating. Uh, not floating, and it's letting the car drive itself through here. Uh, not revving all too much through that section as I am just trying to not uh, oversteer, uh, which would be a good idea here. I see it. I see the straight. We are almost here. We're at 6 minutes and 17 seconds. I'm very surprised, especially with traction control off, how well this NASCAR is performing as now we head to the straight. Let's see what kind of speeds you can pull here. We're going to get to about 156 in third gear, uh, up to 170 now. We're going to make sure we stay on the right side so we can avoid as much of the hill as possible. So we'll be heading to the downhill part here, we're at 186, 187. Here comes the downhill part. Will we reach 200 miles an hour in the NASCAR? It's going to be close. Let's see. 194, 195, 195. As we have to break a lot heading into this. Let's bring it back down to second gear. To take this uh, slowly here. Almost done with the lap. 710 currently. Gotta break hard as I miss my track there. It's definitely going to take a couple seconds off my time, and it is a 719.2. That is incredible for a NASCAR. 719.2. So that is kind of the benchmark. I'm going to add it down to the chart here. You guys put in uh, your recommendations of what cars I should do next. Uh, so let me just write it down here. NASCAR 719.2. 827. So, maybe not something you think is going to beat the NASCAR, but maybe something funny. Like I said, we could use the Indy car. We can, uh, you know, there's not a lawnmower in this game. That'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, just stuff like that. Uh, limos could definitely be something. Like maybe a thousand horsepower limo. You know, just put stuff like that. Like it doesn't have to be a car. Or it does have to be a car. But it doesn't have to be like a certain uh, restriction. You know, like we could do a thousand horsepower limo or Mercedes Benz racing truck. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we're gonna just keep this chart down. This is my idea here at the NASCAR. I'll have your idea and what car you do in the chart as well. So thanks for watching this one. Let's see where that actually puts us on the leaderboard. Uh, for now, <laughs> 18th. We're the 18th quickest in the NASCAR. Somebody got a 701. That's actually kind of crazy. We did that quickly. I mean, we beat out a lot of people. Not really. I mean, f uh, 54 people entered, we're in the top 33%, but still, uh, obviously not a lot of people have the idea of racing NAS uh, NASCARs here. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a like, give it a share, I'll see you guys next time, and peace.